Hello again to all my friends, family members, students, staff, whoever it may be watching this video. As always, Mr. Benjamin here. Happy, alive, and kicking. Not complaining about anything. Just happy to be alive. Unfortunately, though, I am solo today because my friends, my co-workers, Ms. Podlipsky and Ms. Terrio, aren't here with me right now. I'm actually making this video. It's well after school time, but we're not going to worry about it. We're still going to have some fun. This will be our third video, probability three, in this series. And this is actually looking at percents and how to calculate percent from probability. So, we recall from yesterday's video, or last lesson, whichever you're thinking about, the probability of an event. We can always show this as a calculation in an equation. And it's known as the number of successful outcomes over the total number of possible outcomes. So if we look at a few examples, we always come back to our coin and our die. So our coin has two possible outcomes, our heads and our tails. So if we want to find out the probability of the events, in this case we'll say the probability of flipping a heads, that's going to be 1 over the total number, which is 2. That, if we want to represent as a percent, would be 50%. The way we can find that out is this line here, Whenever you show fractions, that line means divided by. So 1 divided by 2, but in this case it would be 2 divided by 1. No, wait, 1 divided by 2, sorry, I made a mistake. 1 divided by 2 gives us 50%. So 1 divided by 2 equals 50%. If we look at our die, our die is a cube with 6 sides. Because it has 6 sides, that means there's 6 possible outcomes. And if we were looking at the probability of rolling a 4, for example, probabil, ah, that's horrible, probability, ah, I'm going to erase that and write it again. But anyways, if we were looking at writing the probability, or we wanted to find out the probability of rolling a 4, that would be 1 out of 6. It's the same as saying 1 divided by 6, which is approximately 16%. If we want to know the probability of rolling a even number, prob of even number. Since the die has numbers 2, 4, and 6, that would be 3 over 6. And 3 divided by 6 equals 50%. So I'm going to give you some examples. It's going to be a shorter video, I should have mentioned earlier, but do a couple of examples. First, show me the probability of landing on a hmm, landing on a white square if this was a spinner. So if I had a little arrow here and you could flick it and spin it, what's the probability of landing on a white square? Let's do another example here. Make this one a bit bigger. And tell me the probability of landing on Ooh, that's huge. Oh well, that's fine. Probability of landing on the pink. And assume all of these sides are equal. So Landing on pink, and this one landing on white. And, as always, we have to have a little spinner in here. Two more. Two more examples. Or two more try this. So, we talked about decks of cards last time. In the last video, a standard deck of cards has 52. We actually talked about this in class today as well. If you were to draw a heart, for example, what's the probability? If you were to draw... Hmm, a face card. And last one, if you were to draw... No, let's stick with red. 52 cards, if you were to draw anything from 3 to 
7. Any one of those. And for all of these, I want the probability of drawing and the percent. Alrighty, that's it for this video. Like I said, it's really quick, and we are always happy to have you, and we're going to say thank you. Smile the face. Alright, see everyone tomorrow.